had a minimal taste for all the fame stuff But I got into the game without a cent in my name And now I'm ballin' like I'm in the NBA, bruh And I know I got a lot, but I'm not content If they ask me to stop, I will not consent Never let nobody block, it's my shot to miss You can meet me at the top if you hop the fence And you climb the stairs, and you fight the beast And you lose your way, then you find your peace And you do it sober, then you find a drink Then you spiral down, and it all repeats And I always had a vision, I could get it, so I did it By my lonely, I don't owe nobody nothing Never let nobody own me, got some money from the music And I spend it on the homies, but don't put nothing before me Gave a whip to Lil Brody, and I'm only getting started and I'm meeting with the people that I start with And my batteries, I had to recharge them I made an album, but that shit was garbage Yo, I was trapped in a gimmick, I finally get it I'm here to make music that matters If I die, it'll all be alright Cause the message I gave you will live for me after And my chapter will highlight a lifetime Of energy gave to a bright mind How you never had to stand on the sideline How are you the guide to your own guidelines? That's an epiphany I had an epiphany, yeah What's going on everybody? So today I wanna to talk to you about how to properly implement a reverse diet. So a lot of people know how to diet, like get super lean, but most people get super stumped and confused when it comes to the reverse diet. A lot of this also is because when you're coming out of your diet, you typically feel like shit and you just wanna eat a lot of food. So you kind of throw the whole game plan out the window of you know, many weeks and months of you telling yourself that you're gonna reverse diet, you might throw it out the window because you're just hungry and you want to eat a bunch of food and you feel like crap and you don't have a goal anymore. I would say that's even more so the reason why people don't stick to a reverse diet is because they don't have a goal anymore in terms of uh, like that show day or the photo shoot or the beach or whatever it was that you got super lean for. So moving into how to approach the reverse diet, you need a game plan and you need to know exactly what you're going to be doing as soon as you're done with the event. So most people start, the first thing is most people go into after the event and they're just like, now I'll start thinking about the reverse diet. And you're already kind of a step behind when you do that because you're not in the right mindset to think about it. Your mental clarity, your mental focus isn't gonna be where it needs to be to create that game plan. It's like going to a grocery store when you're hungry. You're probably gonna make bad decisions. So make this game plan many months ahead of time or many weeks ahead of time so as soon as the competition or the event is over, you can properly execute the game plan of your reverse diet. So what should you do? The first thing is get rid of the cardio and get rid of all the extra um, caloric expenditure that you're doing via exercise. You can't do it very quickly though, so that's the problem. A lot of people try to, if you're doing 45 minutes a day of cardio five times a week, they try to drop it down as fast as possible and increase their calories and that's probably gonna result in a lot faster fat gain than you'd probably be happy with. So my personal suggestion is lower your cardio by maybe 10 minutes every two to three weeks and then increase your calories after you get your cardio down to about 10 minutes a day, four to five days a week. Because then you're at a point where that's not a ton of cardio and that's still enough cardio where you're gonna be still probably in a slight deficit where you can increase your calories at that point without adding too much body fat. So first step is, like I said, kind of take where you're currently at and lower your cardio by, let's say the very first day, by 10 minutes a day off every session. So that's lowering 40 minutes of cardio a week, keeping your calories exactly where they were at the end of your diet. Next week, see how your body responds. You need to check, you know, check the scale, take pictures, compare them to the week prior, and then you'll be able to properly assess how much, did you gain any body fat? Did you lose weight? Did you stay the same weight? And then from there, you can make a decision the next week, okay, I'm gonna lower my uh, cardio again, or my activity, like how long you're actually working out for, the intensity you're working out for, the total volume that you're, uh, using while you're working out, you can lower all of those things if you didn't gain a ton of weight. Because the whole point of a reverse diet is you're trying to slowly reverse out of the diet so you don't put on excess body fat. Um, now, gaining body fat right after a show or right after being extremely depleted is beneficial, but we're talking about how to properly execute a reverse diet here. So that's a whole different conversation though. Um, so again, slowly taper out the cardio and once you get it finally get down which will probably take you four to five weeks once you finally get your cardio down to about 10 minutes a day three to five times a week depending on how much cardio you were doing at the end of the diet 
then start increasing your calories. The first thing I would start trying to increase is your fats. Most people want to jack up their carbs, but in my opinion, most people at the end of a diet, their fats get pretty low. So I would first try to get your fats up. And those are the highest caloric intake of macros. So fats are nine calories per gram, carbs and protein are four. So that's also going to get your calories up faster on top of getting the healthy fats in, which is going to make your body feel better too. Because if you're on super low fat, you're not going to feel that great. Next thing, after you get your fats up, I'd probably try to get them up, depending on how low they are, try to get them over 0.4. Um, 0.4 times your lean body mass, which is gonna give you a good number to kind of have your fats at, that you're gonna feel better likely. And from there, start increasing your carbs as high as you can, but go slowly. Increments of like five grams a week, 10 grams a week of carbs. With fat, you have to kind of go a little slower, maybe two to three grams a week. And with all of these increases, you have to assess how your body is responding on a week to week basis based off the scale, based off the pictures. And if you don't like how fast you're gaining body fat, then pull it back a little bit or add in a little more cardio again. Um, or uh, don't increase your calories as much. You can always pull back a little bit but if you are happy with the amount of body fat that you're putting on at the rate that you're putting on at, then continue doing what you're doing and continue at the rate that you're doing it at. So that is how to properly execute it. And eventually you'll get to a point where you start, where you pretty much maintain at no cardio and a set amount of calories. And that's where you can decide, okay, now I want to enter into a calorie surplus and decide realistically what you want to do from there like you know do you want to enter a full-blown off season um, like bulk where you really want to try to put on as much size do you want to maintain your leanness at the end of the day what's important is you have to decide for yourself what you personally want out of this reverse diet do you want to get yourself back to a healthy body fat very quickly? Do you want to maintain a level of leanness? Maybe not show lean, but do you want to maintain 10%, 12%? How many calories are you ideally wanting to get to that's realistic? What are your goals with the reverse diet? That also needs to be established before you even enter this because it's not everyone's goal to stay as lean as they possibly can. It's not everyone's goal to even stay lean, you know? so that is what you have to kind of assess what your goal is and then from there you can start executing what i just said in terms of how to properly implement a reverse diet after you're coming out of your dieting phase or your prep or whatever it is so hopefully this really helped you all um if you have any questions please feel free to drop them below if you want Leave your macros down below if you want any suggestions or tips of what I think you should be doing along with your stats, like your body fat, your height, your weight, your age, um, and then tell me what your goal is. I'd be more than happy to kind of tell you if I think you're on the right track or what you should do moving forward to get yourself a little further towards your goals. So leave that in the comment section below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Please hit the subscribe button. And if this video helped you and you think it could help somebody else, please just share it. Until the next video, See y'all later.